Have you ever contemplated why a crumpled car bumper miraculously restores itself after a minor accident? This intriguing phenomenon has captivated many curious minds. We inhabit a world where forces are constantly in action, often overlooked by us. One of the most visually captivating demonstrations of these forces is the sight of a crumpled car bumper returning to its original form after a minor collision. But how does this incredible transformation occur? What scientific principles are at play? Delving into the domain of physics opens up the concept of resilience. This inherent quality permits certain materials to revert to their initial state after enduring strain and then subsequently having that strain removed. This is precisely the scenario when a car bumper bounces back post a small accident. The resilience of the material is put to the test, and it is this resilience that facilitates the bumper to spring back into shape, often showing little to no visible damage. However, resilience is not the only force shaping our surroundings. Picture a baseball sailing high into the sky after being struck by a bat. This, too, is an intriguing demonstration of how forces and their impacts shape our world. The principle in action here is the law of conservation of momentum. The moment the bat contacts the baseball, a swift alteration in momentum occurs. This sudden change is the force propelling the ball into the air. The more forceful the bat strike, the greater the momentum alteration, resulting in a farther traveling ball. In a more comprehensive context, this principle isn't exclusive to sports like baseball. It's everywhere in our daily existence. The way our cars move, the functioning of our bodies, even the orbit of planets around the sun, all are governed by the laws of physics. One such law is the concept of force and impulse. Force is a push or pull, whereas impulse is the change in momentum. For instance, when you jump off a boat, the boat moves backward. This is the result of impulse. You exert a force on the boat, action, and the boat exerts an equal and opposite force on you, reaction, propelling you forward and the boat backward. This extraordinary interplay of forces and their impacts renders the world around us so vibrant and ever-evolving. It's the reason leaves rustle when the wind blows. Ocean waves crash against the shore, stars twinkle in the night sky. Indeed, every moment of our existence is marked by the potent and varied forces at play. These forces mold our world, guide our actions, and steer the trajectory of our lives. It's a complex and breathtaking dance of cause and effect, a symphony of motion and transformation ever-present around us. If only we take a moment to observe. In this mesmerizing world of motion we inhabit, it's all about the intricate dance of force and impulse. Think of this. Force, described most simply, is either a push or a pull. It's an absolutely captivating principle, one that dictates the very operation of our universe. It infiltrates all aspects of our lives, from the most minute cellular interactions to the grand motions of the cosmos. Force is a perpetual agent of change, a catalyst that sets elements into motion or modifies their trajectory. It is omnipresent and continuously at work, molding and remolding the world we inhabit. Force is the unseen, silent might that lifts a bird into the sky that manipulates the rhythmic dance of the ocean tides that plummets an apple from its branch to the earth. It's the concealed power that keeps celestial bodies like planets and stars aglow. It's the key principle that governs how objects engage with each other, how they initiate movement and how they resist it. Force is something so embedded in our everyday existence that we often overlook its profound and pervasive influence. Let's dive a little deeper into the intricacies of this phenomenon. Picture a feather floating gently down to the ground. This is the force of gravity at work, pulling the feather towards the center of the Earth. Now think of a magnet attracting a paperclip. This is the force of magnetism pulling the paperclip towards the magnet. The force of friction slows down a ball rolling on a rough surface, demonstrating how force can also resist movement. Now envision a child on a playground swing, a quintessential representation of the concept of force. The child sits still on the swing, feet suspended above the ground. Until an external entity, a parent or a friend for instance, applies a force, the swing remains stationary. A subtle nudge, a push, and in an instant the child and swing are no longer static. The swing soars forward, setting the child in motion. This applied force initiates a fascinating sequence of actions and reactions. The child on the swing savors the swift breeze against their face, the exhilarating feeling of flying, the thrill of rising towards the sky and then descending back to earth. Back and forth, the swing moves in a rhythmic pattern, 
physically embodying the forces implicated. Every push and pull we effectuate, every change in direction we undergo, every motion or stillness we experience, all are instigated by force. The child on the swing is just one demonstration amid an infinite array of others. It's a testament to the omnipresence and omnipotence of force. So, the next instance you observe a bird gliding in the sky, an apple plummeting from a tree, a feather drifting to the ground, a magnet pulling a paper clip, or a child swinging in a park, take a moment to acknowledge the invisible might of force at work. It's this unseen force that initiates motion in objects or alters their direction. Visualize a child on a swing, a soft push, and they're soaring through the air. This is force in dynamic action. Now, what about impulse? Shall we delve deeper into this complex yet intriguing concept? Understanding impulse isn't a simple task. It requires us to place it in its rightful context within the heroic duo of force and impulse. Impulse is essentially the loyal lieutenant, the Watson to forces Sherlock Holmes. While this might seem like a casual comparison, it carries substantial significance in the complex world of physics. To draw a more relatable analogy, picture your favorite detective series. Just like Holmes relies on Watson's assistance for solving his intricate cases, force leans on impulse to create a more profound impact. This dynamic pair functions together to affect substantial changes in the world of physics, particularly, particularly in relation to motion. The force is the primary protagonist, the instigator of all movement. It's the Sherlock Holmes of the duo, always leading the way. However, the underappreciated sidekick, impulse, shouldn't be underestimated. When force operates over a certain duration, a fascinating phenomenon we call impulse occurs. Impulse isn't just about force, it's about time. The length of time force is applied, it's about the persistence of the force's application, the concerted effort, the consistent action. It mirrors Watson's thorough investigations and his tireless quest for evidence to aid Holmes. Impulse is not merely an optional extra, it's a necessity. It essentially quantifies the total effect that a force has on an object. It's the agglomerated outcome of all the individual forces applied over a span of time, leading to a shift, a movement, a transformation. It's this compounded effect that brings about the significant changes we observe around us. To simplify it, let's consider a tangible example, a child on a seesaw. Visualize the child perched on the seesaw, anticipating the thrust that will initiate the motion. Then it happens. The seesaw is nudged once, twice, thrice. Each nudge is a force, a minor action contributing to an overarching cause. The total effect of all these nudges represents the impulse. It's the collective outcome of all the individual forces exerted over a duration of time. These minor shifts lead to significant changes, much like tiny pebbles creating a ripple. Furthermore, think about a car gaining momentum on a highway. The longer the acceleration pedal is pressed, force applied for a duration, the faster the car moves. The change in motion is a direct result of impulse. And thus, with each seesaw tilt, with every car acceleration, the principle of impulse comes into play. The sustained force exerted over a length of time accumulates to make the seesaw oscillate higher and the car go faster. That's impulse in action. So in practice, whenever a child on a seesaw gets a series of nudges or a car accelerates over a period of time, the total effect of all those forces combined is the impulse. So why are force and impulse important? Well, they're the fundamental concepts behind every movement we see around us. From the gentle fall of a leaf to the powerful launch of a rocket, force and impulse are at play. In summary, force is the push or pull that sets things in motion or changes their direction. Impulse, on the other hand, is the total effect of a force acting over time. These two concepts are the invisible architects of the world of motion around us. So next time you see a car bumper bounce back after a minor accident or a baseball fly across a field, remember, it's all about force and impulse. They're not just abstract concepts in a physics textbook, but the very principles that govern the movement of everything in our universe. From the most mundane everyday occurrences to the most complex scientific phenomena, force and impulse are always in action.